All right, guys, this is Prince Dax here, the Royal Financial Investment Group, making a quick video today to uh, illustrate how to find dividend yielding stocks uh, via E Trade. Um, so, as you can see here on my screen, I'm already logged in to the uh, E Trade website. Um, simple and easy. You see the research tab, you click on the research tab, you click on stocks, you click on the stocks on the research tab. As you can see, research stocks. Then you're going to go down here to this tab here called stock stringer boom now you're on the stock stringer on the stock stringer you're going to be able to select a lot of filters that are laid here market segment price volume option you know opinions you know are different uh, companies that put out their different things but if you keep on scrolling down to earnings and dividends which I already have open if you uh, expound on that uh, you can go to earnings and dividends and you see here you see a thing called dividend yield right and it's asking you if it has a positive yield, 0 to 2, 2 to 4, 4 to 8. We're going to go above 8, right? These are different filters you can put on. So we're going to say, hey, we just want to see the ones that are above 8. You can highlight other ones if you want to as well, but we're just going to leave above 8%. So you see here, you see the 243, that's how many cumulative matches they have. So that's all. Let's say that's all we're going to look for. But let's say if you wanted to look for a particular industry, you can do that as well. Well, if you want to go to basic materials, capital goods, energy, financial, uh, healthcare, services, technology, utilities, etc., you can add that on as a filter as well. But we're not going to do that. Um, you know, up here you have the uh, micro cap, small cap, mid cap, mega cap. Uh, these are just how much, how big the companies you want to be. A mega cap company's uh, capitalization of how much money they have. Uh, mega cap is over 100 billion, whereas a small cap is from two, I think it's what. 200 million to 1 billion, you know, and large cap is over 5 billion, etc. So that's how big you want the company to be. But we're just going to go here to review results. As you can see, we got we have a list here of all the dividends that are raised over 8%, uh, that are over 8% APY. So as you look down here, you have the symbol of the company, you have the company, the industry, the price, the five day change, and their market cap as well. So, for example, we see this PVD. Let's click on this one. As you click on this one, you can see here, this is a, it's going to take you to the market snapshot. And you're going to be able to see here, it's what, 10.84%. 10.84%. Now, companies that usually give big dividends are usually stable companies that don't use their money for growth. So, companies that don't have dividends, let's say, for example, uh, uh, USANA, for example, USNA, they don't have dividends because instead of paying their shareholders, they're able to take the money, invest back into the company so the stock can grow more, so they feel their shareholders will benefit from the growth of the stock versus paying dividends. Very solid companies that don't move much, that are very uh, stable, they usually pay high dividends. So as you can see here, this is 10.84%. Uh, you have a, a, a expiration date of dividends, which is 5, which is May 4th. May 14th. Um, May 14th is the last day that you must have this stock. If you don't, if you didn't have this stock by May 14th, you will not get paid on June 2nd. So the next payable day or the last payable day they had was June 2nd, but you had to have the stock by May 14th in order to get paid on June 2nd for those dividends. So this is essentially here. This is a semi-annual dividend that it paid $3.34 to you know every share that you have which is this one is trading for 89 cents so this is the way you can use the filter on e-trade to find dividend paying stocks the reason why this would be a great tool i pulled up here on the next tab of uh, bankrate.com and up under here bankrate.com on the mutual funds and savings account uh, the national average on bankrate.com for a mutual fund or savings account is 0.11 percent apy 0.11 percent annual is you know the national average according to bankrate.com for a mutual fund and savings account. Well, we just looked up on this one. This one is paying you 10.8.4% annually. That's why uh, having good dividends is uh, better than um, maybe a savings or checking account. Now you do involve more risk with a uh, stock than a savings account, but it's a different way. So I know people ask me, hey, you know, how can I find a good paying dividend stock? Uh, another one I know of is Verizon, which is symbol VZ. You can look this up on E-Trade as well. 
This one's paying 4.26%. It's a Verizon stock. If you're a Verizon customer, you pay your Verizon bill, it will be nice to get that dividend quarterly. They pay a quarterly dividend of 53 cents. As you can see here, they pay 53 cents uh, every quarter for every share that you have. So, which is better than sitting in your savings account? We're going to look up another one that's a pretty good one. It's called uh, PSEC. PSEC, as you can see here, they pay a dividend of 12.86%. So, which is monthly. They pay a monthly dividend, which is 0.11. And they, uh, they pay 11 cents per every share that you have every month. That's 12.86%. That's pretty nice, right? So, I know you guys asked for it. There it is. Hopefully, it helped you. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching.